Hi everyone, it's me again, and um, I just wanted to go ahead and give you my thoughts on um, these catalog bags that everyone's been making, especially because our spring catalog is coming out in a couple of weeks, um, and I'm super excited. So I wanted to go ahead and showcase my thoughts because I feel like there's going to be quite a bit of people, and there are going to be some new people that uh, make these bags that really don't know... Um, that there are different types of way of making them. They kind of just Google the first one. They're like, oh, okay, I'm set. But um, I want you to be pre-warned and pre-known ahead of time. The things that you do need, um, I would say, are some type of measurements tool. So a lot of the tubes, um, YouTube videos or Google blogs are using a scoreboard. And you don't necessarily need one of those. Um, I use a simple cutting board mat with um, a ruler. So... Um, that worked for me and it was perfectly fine. I want to say um, you can get a scoring board at I think Michael's with a 40% off coupon. I think they're saying for like 10 bucks um, and I would suggest going with the bigger size not a smaller size if you're going to go and buy one. Um, it's just better to have. You can do more with bigger. Uh, but those if you don't have Michael's a craft store I'm sure will have something as well. So, um, getting on to the gift bags. Think about the type of gift bags that you want to use and what they're going to use them for before. Uh, mainly because, essentially, when I was going into this, I wanted a gift bag that would be sturdy enough that I could set on a table because I want to use them for my Chance and Honor um, games. And so, I was looking for something with the bottom. Now, essentially, I knew I couldn't get this size, but I wanted it to look something similar. Um, because our catalogs aren't that big. Now, if you want to make a bag essentially this big, you're going to need two pages of our catalog, so make sure you're just prepared and you um, have some type of glue or double-sided sticky tape to do that for. Uh, the gift bags themselves. The first Google I did came up with the gift bags that had to, um, you scored it about an inch, inch and a half, and then a half inch, and then you had to cut at the bottom um, so you had all these little different tabs, and then you had to glue it on one end and then glue it at the bottom. Now, the thing with that is that I didn't care on how small it was. So it's pretty small. If you can see my nails, they're just kind of barely bigger than that. Um, the bottom always, I don't know what I was, I think I was doing something wrong because the bottom never came out the correct way. Sometimes it did, and then sometimes it just flopped on me. Um... So just be wary of that. This one, um, I didn't really care for. And then the other thing is that these were very thin. So um, when I stuck my hand in it, I felt like, okay, that's fine. I could do a few things in it. But as soon as it got bigger, the bottom would kind of just kind of get weirded out on me. Um, I didn't feel like it was sturdy enough to hold. So I'm not a huge fan of these. Some people it works for really, really well. Kudos to you. Wasn't a thing for me. Um, I looked at another blog and I'm sorry I don't know these people's name I completely forgot I wasn't gonna make a video about this but then I thought I probably should um, and this person she actually did it really easily where I didn't have to cut anything um, all I had to do was take off the staples and then um, fold it and what she did was actually she folds it inside too to give it a nice sturdy fold and then at the bottom she folds it to the sizing that she wants so this can ever change on wide and height, where these ones weren't so much unless you were cutting it on. I didn't really care for that. Um, what I liked about these ones is they're a little bit sturdier, more sturdier. I can set them on top of, um, so if I can hold my steady hand, I'm not showing. I can set them on top of, my too wobbly. I can set them on top of um, a table and it'd be fine with it with my little prize inside. That was not a very good example. Sorry. <laughs> um, the other thing is, though, that you can do is you can go ahead and change it. Let me see if I can find the bag. What did I do with it? Sorry, I lost the bag. Oh, here it is. I can change it um, so I don't have to fold that in so I can keep it long. Because I play a game called Chance and Honor, I have a bunch of little goodies that they get. And so, um, when I was putting them into the shorter bag, they would stick out and I can't have that. So if I didn't fold it, it worked out perfectly. Um, these ones were a lot easier to have them pre-made, folded and kept, um, perfectly fine and nothing else 
would be a problem. Or my other ones, I don't know, they just didn't seem right. So I'm thinking maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. Human error. I'll, I'll say it. Um, but if not, I accept perfectly. Another thing is pay attention to what you want on the outside. So um, on this one, what do I have on the outside? I have about our hostess resorts, our hostess rewards and about us. There's one that if you're not careful, I don't know if you want to have it on the outside, um, this host a party one. So I have host a party and then buy three, get one free on the outside. You're going to have a bunch on the inside, you can see it, is the index. I don't really think that's a cute outside, even though from the runway on this side is a really cute outside. You just want to kind of pay attention to what they're going to be looking at because that's the first thing people see is like, oh, how cute, how nifty. Um, so just be paying attention to that. Uh, that's one of the things that you do want to notice um, when you're making these gift bags. Also, if you um, do hand these out, you can change them into mailers. You can change them also into envelopes. So completely up to you, your choice. If you have any questions or want me to attempt to demonstrate these envelopes that are actually really easy to make, um, just let me know in the comments below. Sorry for all the talking and thoughts and opinions, but you stayed and watched. So have a wonderful day. Have a great week and stay good. Bye.